three I think we're streaming and I had promised to list all the mods I am running on Cities Skylines so let's go through them and I will disable some of them because I want to play no mods but I want to still have cheaper and have nicer graphics so I'm gonna disable the mods that uh, change the gameplay but I'm gonna keep the mods that uh, enhance the visual experience and all this so 81 tiles, let's disable it because 81 tiles has uh, now, I think has, it, 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 this is the one that has the options to, what you call it, um, okay, to, don't, to transmit electricity and water uh, without needing pipes. So I'm gonna disable it because it changed the gameplay, even though I like to unlock all the tiles and have uh, more than nine tiles, uh, this city is small. Advanced ve vehicle options, I'm gonna leave it because this I used to replace the stupid hot dog bands with some nice bands. Broken node detector, okay, let's uh, disable it. It's a troubleshooting mod, but I don't think we need it. Bulldoze it, I'm definitely leaving it. Uh, that uh, automatically bulldozes uh, uh, the abandoned buildings and uh, I can't be bothered to be bulldozing. Sorry, that's a gameplay modification, but yeah, this is just comfort. Clothes and tug disable, I keep it. This uh, allows to remove that stupid fog and have a clear view of the city. Compatibility report, I'm, I'm tempted to uninstall it. I don't really use it and it keeps, re it keeps uh, telling me that my mods are outdated, uh, where they, they, they work perfectly, that's just BS. Okay, empty it. This automatically empties the cemeteries and the, that other thing, the, the thing, you know, the garbage thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna disable it because it changed gameplay. It's just a matter of comfort, like we'll do it, but yeah. Enhance outside connections. Okay, this one helps you see um, the graph, so I'm gonna leave it, it's just peaceful. Landscaping tools, okay. This one changed again play, so bye bye. FPS booster, I'm gonna leave it. Hard mode, hard mode, I want to turn on this one. Because this one uh, disables this spawning without the need of traffic manager. Harmony is a dependency by, from some other mod, I'm not even sure I need it. It got installed with something and yeah, we see that. Hide it. Okay, this is what allows us to hide the cheer per stupid thing that takes half of the screen. Yeah, that's stain. Life cycle rebalance, that's to avoid in dead waves. It um, distributes the ages of the sims moving into the city so everyone doesn't die at the same time. Loading screen mod, it helps troubleshoot the map, so I'm gonna keep it. More advanced info views. I don't remember what this one does. I think this is the one that allows me. Oh yeah, this is the one that allows me to, I'm gonna keep it because, uh, you know, for example, when you're placing parts, it goes into park view, and you don't really see where you're putting stuff because it's stupid park view. So this, this is stain, you, you can toggle the info view uh, to the normal map, and you can actually see what you're doing. More network stuff, this is a, uh, some kind of anarchy thing to, to change, so this gotta go. More path units, uh, yeah, no, this, this one has gotta go, okay, bye. -bye. This, uh, this breaks the game, actually. You can you can remove it. There's a no more party units or something, but yeah, more vehicles. Yeah, that's uh, so if, if if you ever want to play a really big map, you can double the maximum sixteen thousand vehicles to two thousand or something. But it is it, it, a map breaker. So actually, yeah, I don't know what it. Move it. Okay, I don't want to, but I will disable it to get. Um, this is uh, my own mix from 10 Mixer, so that's, that just, you can select it in there. It's not game playing, it's just uh, visuals. Network Anarchy, okay. Bye. Network Multi Tool, Magnetic Different Tools for Working Okay, this, uh, yeah, 
go bye bye. Network skins. Change the visual appearance as visuals, but let's disable it. No more vehicles. This uh, allows you to uh, undo the more vehicle thing, but doesn't work very well. Not controller. Bye. Because this is place with roads. Optimize outside connection. Large vehicles with more cargo passengers at a time. Okay. Bye. Can play changer. Patch loader. This is for something else. I don't know. Play it. Uh, this is to, to actually increase the, the speed of the game and whatnot. Let's remove it. Precision engineering. This is the one that tells me the distance, the angles. Uh, the, the, the base game has it now. So, okay, let's remove it. I kind of like it, but yeah. Prefab hook, there's another dependency. Repaint. I don't really use this. You can change color of the buildings. Resize it. Uh, yeah, this allows you, you know, the info panels. Sometimes uh, you can. It allows you to move it, to move them, and to resize them. So that's uh, that's staying. Remove crossings. It's for traffic manager. The network replacer is uh, when you load the map that they used to have network extensions and tries to replace it with. Yeah, it's gotta go. Show it. Mm, oh, this is this is really nice because this I think is the one that lets you uh, know what they are missing in a particular neighborhood. I'm gonna keep it because it helps you troubleshoot the good development of your city. I'm gonna show you once we're on the game. Mod source settings. Oh, this is brilliant. This this uh, organize them alphabetically. That that that's gotta stay. That's a, you know, the list of, of mods, I don't know what by what order, they are by default when you are on the options menu, but they just scrambled and this is organized alphabetically, which is, uh, you know, like nice. This stays, TW Team 10 Mixer, that stays, is 10 Mixer 2, I don't know. Well, that, this is themes that, that allows you to change the textures for stuff, so it's just visual, that's staying. Traffic manager gotta go, bye bye, no more BIFA, no more you go there, no more BS, no more forbidden left turns. Edge crawling, this one is staying because it's helping me during the stream. If I go out of the window, it will not keep the map scrolling on the border. So that helps me. That's not gameplay changing. Toggle it. Uh, I don't really know. I'm, I'm gonna keep it because I think this might be the one that allows me to hide chirper. I don't know. Talk about witness. This is whiteness. This is the one that actually helps me. Uh, so I'm confused. I'd say it was the other one, but I think this is the one when I press I, it changed from uh, info view to normal map view. So this stays. Transfer manager. Oh, this, this gotta go. Transfer manager, this is the one that uh, helps with the industry and whatnot. Unify UI, uh, yeah, this is just to group the mods, buttons in somewhere, it's not scattered all around the screen. Unlimited money, unlimited oil and soil, that come with the game. Unlimited outside connection revisited. You can actually add outside connections to the map. Mm, that, you gotta go, this can play, you, get, you know, it allows you to break the boundaries of the game. Unlimited soil, you gotta go. This comes with the with the game, I think. Wash it. Is that is important capacity? I think this is the one that makes a, a, li a nice little uh, strip on the side with. It's the same as the info views actually. I don't know. So many, many YouTubers use it. I don't know where I have it. Sun color changer. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little blind, so I, I use it to get more contrast in the sun and thing, but. Yeah, gotta go and zoom it. It allows you to actually go deeper in the simulation, look closer to what the sims are doing, so that, that, that one stays. So that's it, this is a list of mods I, I use in uh, Cities and Skylines. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna stop the stream. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, it is informative, it will help you. Now I'm gonna stop the stream and start another one where I actually play a city I was sent to fix with the settings with this mod. So thank you, bye!